Norfolk Southern CEO Alan Shaw told senators he was deeply sorry for the train derailment that caused a major ecological disaster in Ohio last month. Cleanup is still underway in East Palestine. Shaw's testimony comes as Norfolk Southern suffered yet another train derailment earlier today in Alabama. ABC's M. Wen has the latest from Capitol Hill. Senator, we're going to do what's right for the citizens of What's right is to cover their health care needs. Will you do that? Everything is on the table, sir. Today, congressional lawmakers demanding answers from Norfolk Southern CEO Alan Shaw after the train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio, where the cleanup of toxic chemicals continues. I want to begin today by expressing how deeply sorry I am for the impact this derailment has had on the residents of East Palestine and the surrounding communities. Both sides of the aisle calling for Norfolk Southern to be held financially responsible for the fallout of that February 3rd derailment. The rail company previously pledging millions of dollars to impacted regions. The committee's top Republican pivoting criticism to the EPA, claiming a lack of transparency. It's clear to me that EPA's risk communication strategy fell short. The EPA saying they've had boots on the ground since the derailment, adding the water, air and soil has been deemed safe for residents. And just earlier today, another Norfolk Southern train derailed in Alabama, sending 37 cars off the track, two of which previously carried a hazardous material. Officials say no one was hurt. You may need to look into that. This coming after ABC News learned federal regulators are looking into an alleged incident on February 27th, where a complaint to the FRA claims a safety official told the crew one of their cars carrying ethanol was trending hot. Ohio Senator J.D. Vance making a direct plea to his Republican colleagues to back new legislation to improve rail safety. Are we for big business and big government, or are we for the people of East Palestine? Norfolk Southern released a six-point plan to improve rail safety, just as Shaw today said he was personally committed to the recovery in East Palestine, though it's not exactly clear what that might look like. Here on Capitol Hill, M. Wynn, ABC News.